Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining me now for the third time here on Avon Our Psychic Radio and Moostack TV and then all the amazing channels out there. I tell you what, it is a joy and then it is it is very very special to be here and 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 uh, finding out about you and having a conversation with you and what i'm saying is you you because today we are going to take two callers so i'm very very excited about it i'm very much looking forward to having those conversations with you so you are watching this show susanna medium i'm susanna herchog i'm a psychic and a medium an intuitive teacher a coach a therapist and then a healer, and then just like we said, a human just like you. So when I share something uh, uh, related to the topic or something what we are talking about, my experiences are very much behind what 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 I what I'm going to talk talk about. So here we go. Um, yes, I said three. You see, I've been thinking about number three um, coming up to this this occasion now. And in, in Hungary, we say, we've got a saying. We've got a saying, we're including the, uh, the number number three. So we say, Három a magyar igazság. Három a magyar igazság. Meaning that three is the Hungarian truth, if I want to translate it literally. But the keywords here are, three is the truth. The truth is in the three. You know, so we can start playing with this idea. So my invitation to you right now is actually, yes, just think, feel into the number three in your life and how you are experiencing it. So if, if, uh, if some, some religion is important for you, then you might find number three there. If the tarot cards or car cards are important for you, you will find number three there. So you can reflect on the meaning, you know, when, when you are working with those with those cards. But for me, number three is really about how, you know, just like we talked about, um, uh, the, it, it takes three to tango. So it takes spirit, it takes you, and it takes me or the channel. To, to have the conversation very, very successful. So that's number three there. And then also reflected on number three, how we are finding number three within our own selves. So we can have uh, the mind, body, and spirit. And what I'm finding is that when I come to conversations, uh, readings with people, sometimes, yes, people can ask, tell me something about my spiritual life or tell me something about my love life. You know, it's a very, very common question. And then, yes, we can have all the conversations, but sometimes I find that, yes, when, when we are really keeping ourselves in one level, on one level, so it's very much I'm in my body, uh, and I'm maybe not uh, opening myself to my spirit or my soul, or maybe very, I'm very much in my mind, and I'm not paying too much attention to my body, then we tend to have a little balance, imbalance. So we are, we are going out of balance. So the invitation here is just, just consider how you are feeling and how you are experiencing the, the, these three things in your own life and within yourself. So your mind, your body, and your spirit. And last time we spoke about the mindfulness, how I am in my mind and how I am, I can make, I have the choice how I am using my own mind. So that really covered the mind conversation. And I know some other colleagues here on this channel, uh, they have talked about how we are looking after our own body or how we are looking after our own soul. So it's always the combination of these three areas. So the invitation for you, just really feeling, if you feel that you are somehow feeling out of touch with this world or you are feeling a little bit out of balance, then check in with yourself. You know, if you are maybe too much, I can be sometimes very much in my mind and I know that, okay, now I need to do something else. I need to bring myself back to my body. Maybe I need some exercise. Maybe I need some fresh air. I need some walk or, or, or any, any, anything like that. So it's definitely we need to have that kind of awareness how we are in our body, in our mind, and within, in our spirit. Now, I'm aware, let's see. Yes, so we are going to, we are going to have 
two callers coming in and if you are a person who is uh, coming on board to have your reading today just remember just trusting allowing and 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 really surrendering because this is how it takes three to tango so the more open mind you have the more open heart you have the the energy will be able to work with you work with you more fluently and and easily and then you see i'm doing the same because i'm as i told you last time i'm i'm feeling my heart uh, giving give, giving me the frequency so my job is going to be taking myself out of this conversation and just trusting relying and and surrendering so that that conversation is going to be very very fluent for you and then again spirit so let's just invite you know so if you are coming on the call like i i can see i have gold in a minute just Feel into that energy. You know, if you want to hear, if you want to receive a message from a loved one, just call out their names, just bring them closer, uh, bring up a, mem a memory within you. So something what really, really reminds you of the person and the good times you spend. So it really, all of us are doing something in order for, 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 for you to have a good experience. So let's just see, we are going to have Goldie in Richlands from Virginia, USA is ready. So thank you very much for here, for, for being here, Goldie. Can you hear me clearly, please? Uh, yes, I have a question. My mom passed like three years ago, and I never did find out who my dad was. So you, you, you are asking about your mom? Yes. Okay, your mom passed four years ago. Did, she, did you say that, please? Yes, uh, she just never did tell me who my dad was, and that's what I'm needing to know. Okay, okay. So uh, I just want to make sure I'm hearing. Ah, oh, okay. So your question was: you never, you never found out who your dad was, and you want to know who your dad is. Oh, okay, okay. You know, um, as I was listening to you, what I was, what I was present to, you know, when you mentioned your mom, that between the time your mom passed and now. I feel that your energy is not a direct, not a direct link, but it feels like going, like me meandering, you know, going from one side to another, to another, and then to, to the other. And I feel that she's still trying to find that energy within herself to give you the answer. And I, at the same time, I'm also feeling she's giving me number three and four. I know you said four, but I feel that her energy, I don't know whether you have, you have had her in a reading, but I feel that she's... She wants to come forward, but she doesn't want to come forward at the same time. I'm feeling quite a private lady with her. Would you understand that, please? A private energy. Yes, yeah. She's very private. Yes, 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 yes. And then this is what I'm feeling because she's giving me, yes, I want to, I want to come forward. I want to tell you something, but at the same time, I'm not entirely sure whether that is really the, the, the best thing for me to do or for you to do. So I have a feeling that she's she's giving this intention of wanting to communicate, but maybe pulling herself back. But let's just see what she's going to give us here, you know? Now I'm also okay. present to you as, as she's coming forward. I'm also feeling a little bit you know, um, uh, uh, discomfort in my body, you know? As I'm feeling her body, I'm feeling a little discomfort on my right side around my hip area, okay? And I need to tell you, it's at some, somehow at the, at the lower back and then coming a little bit further up. And then she's saying, you know what, I, I'd rather not talk about my problems, what I'm experiencing. Would you understand that, please? Yes, yeah, I understand it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then she's also saying that in, in the environment, let's just see what she is. You know, sometimes spirit gives us direct direct answer to your question you know i feel that her energy just needs to get a little 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 going here you know and then she's she's yeah. making me aware that the, the environment the family where she lived sometimes she felt that she could not really express herself and then she felt that she had to hold herself back what she really wanted to say would you understand that please oh yes oh yes Yes, yes. And then I feel that she's even in that environment, she's trying to find the opportunity or trying to find the word, how she can express herself. I'm present to a male energy. And then how I see your mom, uh, actually, I feel that she's standing behind this male energy and as if really serving or trying to catch the good mood to this man. Would you understand that, please? Yes. 
Yes. yes. And then, thank you. And then, as if she's like, like constantly, I constantly have to think. I constantly have to make an attempt or make an effort so that everything is fine. The food is cooked. The dinner is cooked. Everything is yeah. there. And then I feel that uh, within this yeah. relationship, I'm not feeling the balance. You know, I'm feeling a very, very overpowering male sitting there. Now, with this gentleman, I'm feeling somebody who, when he sits down, he sits there. He's not moving anywhere. Would you understand that, please? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Thank you. And then I feel that this lady is, whatever she's trying, it's not, nothing seems to be enough for this gentleman. And I'm feeling quite... Right. The, the you know the, the the gentleman I'm not very I'm not feeling very uh, I'm not feeling very uh, interesting to talk to this gentleman you know it feels like that things were set in a way and then they need to be in that way you know he's not actually he's not a person who would be talking too much either we would not be giving you too many words would you understand that please oh yes 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 thank you and then I feel that and I feel that the the, the relationship between the two of them. Maybe from the very beginning they were on the same wavelength, but after that, very quickly, your mom realized that it is not what she was really into, you know. And then she feels, oh, yes. she's, yeah, she's telling me that she's actually giving me a locket, and she's telling me that it's the whole situation was just under lock, like a padlock, you know. She's giving me a padlock, and in fact, she's putting her own padlock on her own mouth, on her mouth. And then I'm aware that okay, let's see, I'm aware of three children, three younger ones. Would you understand three children, please? Yes, yes. Yes, three children. Because I'm feeling, thank you, because I'm feeling that her heart was really, really into very much with, with, with the children, you know, that all the love, all the love, what she, what she wanted to express, she was really, she really wanted to give, she really wanted to show, she really wanted to express her love, but then a lot of times she could not really have, she could not have the possibility. I'm also aware that this man is telling her off or hugging the children and loving them too much. Would you understand that, please? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. While I'm fo while I'm moving my hand, you know, while I'm moving, that is my right hand. Okay. While I'm moving my hand, I'm feeling quite hard with this man. You know, I don't know whether he was. I'm feeling like an aggressive energy there. Somebody who would just hit, who would just be off because this is how how that is his energy. Would you understand that, please? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, and I'm also aware that sometimes this gentleman would be drinking, and then his actions would be just a consequence of how you know how he was living his own life. Would you understand that, please? Oh yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Now, while I'm holding my hand up, I've got a little bracelet here. You know, I've got a little bracelet here. So I need to tell you that your mom is talking about a bracelet also. You know. So I don't know whether you have that bracelet, but it feels like, you know what I'm seeing on her bracelet? Little hearts, little hearts, a pattern of little hearts. So I don't know whether you actually have that bracelet or you have, you remember that, but this is what your mom is showing. In fact, while I'm moving it around, would you understand the bracelet, please? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We put it on a bit fast. Thank you, thank you. And then while I'm showing this, you know, in certain religions, people would do the, the, the rosemary, you know. She's showing me the rosemary in her quiet moment. She, in her quiet moment, she would be sitting down and praying. Her faith, her, it feels that, it feels that towards, towards the end of her life, was basically all through, through, throughout her life, that was the one thing which was really holding herself together. Would you understand that the faith, and then I need to pray, yeah. and I'm chanting, and I'm chanting the prayers, and then it feels like that I'm hearing this verse, what she's saying, and it's nonstop. So even if when she, when she had a padlock, she could not express herself constantly, continuously, she was saying her own prayers, and I have a feeling that the number number three has a significance in one of the prayers what she's saying she's giving me a ringing ear here okay she's giving me a ringing okay. here as well okay now yes. she's showing she's, she's showing me little little like uh, you know the little flowers little per ponies you know the little little putting little flowers that i'm hearing oh, the word yes. 
Ponies, yes. And then she's showing me to three different colors. I need to give you the three different colors. Please take a note of that. So it's either she had those flowers, so you have that, but all the colors we need to give. Okay, so we've got the yellow, we've got the orange, and we've got the burgundy, something like the flower behind, you know. These are the three colors. And then she's saying that throughout her life, this is how she wanted you to, or the children, to grow up, having that confidence, having that strength, having that playfulness. But at the same time, she was very aware that she needed to keep the children out of sight of the guy, of the man. Would you understand that, please? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> In fact, in fact, thank you. In fact, I'm aware of a sister belonging to your mom or a sister or a sister energy. And I'm aware that sometimes she just had to get, get the children together and then give it to the sister to look after because the situation within the, far, the household was such that, that it's just too much for the children to take in. Would you understand that, please? Oh, yes, yes. Thank, thank you. It's, it's uh, you know, the, the energy when the energy is very, very intense, I'm really feeling it in my body and I need to give you a knife. I need to give you a knife and I'm not going to go too much into the conversation because this is a public conversation, but I'm aware of a knife. There is a knife in the hand of the man. Would you understand the knife, please? Not really, but yes. Okay, okay. We just let it go, but then I'm feeling it's quite, quite an intense energy. You know, your mom is showing me certain types of cheese, cheese, the select, selection of cheese, cheese. I also need to say, you know, when we take a picture, when we take a picture, we say cheese. Oh, yes, yeah, cheese. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm feeling that it's not that the life was always as if we are taking pictures, you know, so that yes. she needs. She needed to be the one who is smiling, and I'm feeling as uh, bless her. She has chosen a life. She has chosen a lifetime, and then she has she has raised the children by all, everything what she could. She's making me aware of sometimes going hungry just because just just to to be able to 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 feed the children. You know. Oh yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. No, she's making me aware. Thank you. She's making me aware of a, a picture on the wall. And then I'll, t I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you one or two information, you know. Uh, yes. I'm very happy to, you know, if you come back to me, if you send me a, a message, send me, find my contact details, and then continuing the conversation, because it's good, her energy is very, very much gathered together here, you know. So in fact, now knowing how much time we have here, what I can say, okay. Gordy, send me a message, find me on uh, Susanna Medium at so that the medium.com find me please there and then i'll pick up the energy with you and then we continue it, 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 it's all right yeah thank you very much for yeah. working thank you working with me and being here and and then thank you and then just and just make sure that you ground yourself beautifully beautifully okay thank you thank you thank you bless you Thank you. Now we are moving on to our second caller. The time goes really quickly. Now I have Stevie in Melton in Victoria, Australia. Let's see. Stevie's here. Thank you, Stevie. Yeah. Can you hear us, Can you, please? I you, you can hear me. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thanks for calling in. Let's see. Uh, how can we help you here today? Um, can you follow a uh, general reading, please? Okay, a general reading, okay. You know, with you, what I'm feeling, what, what I'm feeling is that, yes, it feels that the year has not started yet. You know, we say January the 1st, the, the new year begins, but I feel that energies from the past year is still dragging on. You know, you are still carrying on that energy, and then you really feel like, oh, I want to drop it, and I really want to start my life, start my year anew, start my year anew. Would you understand that, please? Yeah. Yes. And then what I need to tell you immediately when I when I read your name, I'm got, I, I got February, you know. So what Spirit says, we, we don't have much in January. Just keep going, keep going. And at the same time, it feels like, you know, the energy shows me that, that you know, that there, is a, there is a morning when I'm waking up and then things are off. Things are off, you know. And while I'm doing this, while I'm doing this, TV, I need to tell you, it's like as if I am getting ready. Um, your energy is that I'm getting ready to to open my wings, you know. And what spirit is telling me that 
good that you are not telling people about your very personal ideas, you know, about your very personal plans and ideas. And then right now, you just, this is the best thing what you can do, you know. So right now, you just move, we are just moving through January, drop, drop that energy, what does not belong to you. And then at the same time, it feels like, you know, um, your energy in the the daytime, I have one energy and in in the nighttime, I am experiencing something else, you know. And what Spirit says that when you are experiencing your own power in the, in, in the evening, you know, or during the sleep, that is yeah. your real power. And this is what is going to come forward, you know. Now, I need to give you around the 13th of March, 11th or 13th of March, as someone's birthday passing or celebration. Would you take that date, please, or this date, please? Um, that's my birthday for the rest of March. Uh, say that again, please. My birthday is for the of March. Okay, your birthday, thank you very much, because spirit is getting ready. Would you understand also a father or father energy in spirit, please? Pardon, sorry? A, a father or somebody who has a father energy to you? Um, no, my father passed no? away. <laughs> Okay, maybe it could be like a like a grandfather, but I'm present to a gentleman who feels like a father or father energy. You know, sometimes we can have a lot of oh, yeah, my mom's father. Your mom's father. Your, your, your mom's father. Because I'm feeling that he gave me the, 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 the birthday because when you said, yes, I'm taking it for my birthday, he's preparing and I'm feeling a quiet energy with this gentleman, you know, a quiet energy. So I'm just curious why he's there. He's showing me, he's showing me newspapers as if quiet, really, quietly reading the newspapers, you know. I'm also smoking pie. Would you understand that for the gentleman, please? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, my papa is in the Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Now, for some reason, uh, he's making me aware that he's very much around you, you know. In fact, he's, 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 he's telling me that while he was here on this earth plane, not very, like, like a, while he was here on this earth plane, he could not really, or he did not really do something for you, or it wasn't really important, or you did not really know this gentleman. But he's showing me the 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 all the the, the guards you are taking down, you know, one by one. Now I need to go back to the last two and eight years when I feel that actually that was when things became a little bit faster or more intense for me. Would you understand that, please? Last two or eight years between two and eight. 2008, um, my daughter passed away. Okay, oh, I'm not entirely sure I heard you that. Um, 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 he's making me aware, yes, he's making me aware that the, the, the big, big change started for you about eight, between eight and two years ago. And then what, what you are experiencing right now, energy is just the tail of things, you know. And as I'm moving forward, it's, it's, that energy is going to clear out as you are moving forward. Now, as I'm getting to, because you asked uh, like a general question, as I'm getting to March, between March, April and May, I feel that is the time when actually now I'm feeling in my power. I need to sit down and I need to create my own structures, you know. I need to structure things. And then that is the time when actually I'm, I'm, and now I'm moving forward. Now I'm moving forward. And while I'm doing this, I'm aware certain family members, you know, I'm feeling two ladies on the side in the family who would like to have or would like to continue conversations, what you knew in the past. But what Spirit is saying, you know, maybe sometimes it just, it is better to pull the curtain, you know, and then just, yes, just nicely and politely, politely just letting them know that, you know, that is not what I'm interested in, but I am now, I'm moving forward, I'm focusing. Would you understand that? Would you understand those two ladies here on the yeah. side, please? Yes, yes. And then, it's, in fact, while I'm saying the curtain, curtain is not enough. You have to lock it. And I'm feeling a metal, metal door, a metal gate. You see, today we are having the padlock day. <laughs> it sounds like because spirit is giving you a padlock, you know. <laughs> and I'm also, when you do this, when you do this, that's the time when I'm, I'm yes, I'm not talking, di- t- talking about 
financial things directly, but that is the time when I feel that the, the, the give and take energy, that is when I'm exchanging, you know, I'm giving something and something is coming back to me and I'm feeling that energy moving yeah. forward. That's easier. Okay. So that is the time, March onwards, March, April and May when things start moving forward. Now, I don't know whether you are doing any trading, but I'm hearing the word trading, you know, and I feel that you are very smart how you are doing your things, you know, and then I feel that, yes, it's a, right now, maybe you might be doing it by yourself doing something because you need to focus on what you are creating by yourself but then a little bit later as we go to the second part of the year I feel that you might you might be better off delegating giving like having two or three people on teams so they are doing the nitty-gritty of things while you are able to focus on the big thing you know because this is but this is where I need to go okay now I'm also getting spirit is giving me a ski 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 I'm skiing okay being in, in relation to you or I'm just feeling the energy of, of the movement being 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 in movement. Would you understand skiing, the actual skiing? Okay. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. It sounds like ah oh, okay, bless you. So uh Stevie, if you are here, last thing was what spirit gave gave us with the skiing. And so it's either you literally you live somewhere where you can do the skiing bit or I'm on the mountain and then, you know, just like gravity is going to take you on. Okay. So a question was about it, like a general question. And I'm feeling that, yes, sorting things out on the side and moving forward uh, from, from March onwards. Okay. So let's, uh, let's just see. I'll tell you what, time goes really, really quickly here. And I had so many things to talk about. In fact, these are my notes here. <laughs> and as you can see, it's always, it's much better to trust Allah and surrender and Allah spirit to let, to, to give the conversation, to, to let the conversation um, go. So here we go. A couple of minutes left. You can find me, if you enjoy this conversation, you can find me for individual readings and bookings, bookings on www.susannamedium.com and then also on Facebook and different different channels. Now, I have an, uh, an event coming up next Friday. So we are going into February and I'm calling it, I was calling it um, uh, an evening, an enlightening evening of clairvoyance and experimental uh, mediumship. So please feel free to check it out. Come on to my Facebook page because uh, we've got a nice little community going on there and then you know very well I do live readings and, and all different things because it's so it's just so amazing to, to build the conversation and the community here. So before I finish, thank you very much for being here. You watched and you, you listened uh, listened to uh, Ava on our Psychic Radio and Moonstack TV. Your host was Susanna Hurchuk, myself, and thank you very much for being here. Have a gorgeous day weak trust allow and surrender thank you very much and you lots of love <laughs>